Welcome. Thanks for joining me for my energy card reading today. And as I was just sitting here contemplating what message would come through for us, the card that came through was the Angel of Love. But as you guessed it, I got it upside down. So I'm just going to read from the Energy Oracle cards um, on what that could mean for us in our lives. Because it, it means something different for everybody. So you'll take different meanings from it. And I'll just give you the information and you can interpret it and use it as best for you. So in the re reverse position, the angel of love could indicate a possible disconnect in matters of the heart. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could also imply an emotional rift where two people uh, stay connected on a super superficial basis, yet at a deeper level seem to be going their own ways. In this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation if the longing remains alive in one partner's heart. If you find yourself unable to let go, this loving angel is telling you it's time to release any toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting for you to free your heart and open your life to the fully present and honoring love that you so rightly deserve. So look in the mirror and see the angel of love there with you. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. And the affirmation is, I love and value myself and others without limitations or conditions. Tender, loving treatment comes to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. So, however you interpret that, um, I have been going through some ancestral cleansing. And um, so this is the right path for me that I am free to let those attachments go and not be held on to them um, any longer because they're just stagnating me from moving forward in this time and space. And for the oil that I chose to go along with this, because um, we can use uh, lots of healing modalities because everything in the universe is a form of energy and information and it vibrates at a specific frequency. So we can use certain healing modalities to help us raise our lower vibrating energies like when we're sick or feeling low. And that's what I love sharing with you. So aroma... Um, is like the fastest way that you can raise any lower vibrations um, through our memories. So smell immediately reaches the amygdala in our brain and, and, it, and that's where our memories are stored. So if you pair an aroma or look into what um, certain um, flowers and plants and energies that they provide, um, you can um, <clears throat> raise that vibration rather quickly. Um, so marjoram, and I'm just going to read a quick excerpt of how marjoram can help us um, emotionally. So marjoram teaches that trust is the basis for all relationships. It assists us in creating, creating um, our, in increasing our warmth and trust in social situations. Madram softens the heart and heals past wounds. It kindles the fires of trust in relationship so that only so that one may fully blossom. When we you when when we feel safe and loved, we express our authenticity more freely. Madram restores trust and openness so that true bonds of love may be formed in relationships and friendships. So that's why I chose marjoram. And like I said, just the inhaling the aroma of it, although it's going to make me hungry because it smells like Italian, right? <laughs> 
So if you can anchor an aroma that you love to a feeling, then when you're out in public or in a meeting or just need to raise your frequency and vibration, all you need to do is just take a whiff out of it and it'll bring back an emotional um, feeling and raise your vibration. And I'm also using my Healy frequency device and it kind of works, it all works the same. It, it raises your energy vibration and it, it aligns with your lower vibrations that are coming off your body and your, and your um, energy fields. And it helps sync them up to the higher natural frequencies of what they are doing. So I'm using a release program right now to help me release the energy and the emotions and the energy that is stuck in my body that's keeping me stagnant. All right. Well, I hope you found this helpful and I am sending you loving healing energy of Reiki also. So if you need, know somebody that needs to hear this message, please share it. And if you'd like to learn more about any of these healing modalities, just leave me a comment and I'd be glad to get back to you. All right. You have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.